I need to extract some data from a web page, but I'm not sure how to start. Can you suggest an approach? You can use the beautiful soup library in Python. It's a tool for parsing HTML and XML documents and extracting data from them. It creates parse trees that are helpful to extract parts of the document. That sounds useful. How do I get started? First, you need to install the package. You can do this using pip, which is Python's package installer. Run this command in your terminal. Okay, I've installed it. How do I use it to parse a web page? You'll also need a library to fetch the web page, like requests. Then you can use Beautiful Soup to parse the content. Here's a simple example. This code fetches the web page and prints the prettified HTML. What does HTML.parser mean in this context? That's the parser included with Python's standard library, which Beautiful Soup uses to parse the HTML. You could also use other parsers like LXML or HTML5lib if you need different capabilities or speed. Suppose I want to extract all the URLs from that page. You can find all the anchor tags and then extract the ref attribute. This will print out every URL found in anchor tags. What if I'm only interested in certain tags with a specific class? Beautiful Soup allows you to filter your search by tag attributes. For example, this would print the text of all DIV elements with a class of specific class. How about modifying the HTML? Is that possible? Yes, Beautiful Soup is not just for parsing. It's also great for modifying HTML. You can edit tags, attributes, and the tree structure itself. Here's how you might change a tags class. This changes the class of the first DIV with the class old class to new class. And what if I want to create a new tag and add it to the document? You can do that as well. Here's an example. This creates a new link and appends it to the end of the body. Is it possible to navigate the document tree? Absolutely. Beautiful Soup's parsing tree enables navigating the document easily. You can go down, up, and sideways in the tree. For instance, tag.contents lists the tag's children, tag.parent accesses its parent, and tag.next underscore sibling and tag.previous underscore sibling can be used to move between tags at the same level. Can Beautiful Soup handle malformed HTML? Yes, it's quite forgiving. 
It will parse the HTML as best as it can even if it's not well formed. What about performance? I've heard parsing HTML can be slow. If performance is a concern, using the LXML parser instead of the default one can help. It's much faster though you need to install it separately. Then you would change the parser like this. This has been really helpful. Can I use Beautiful Soup with JavaScript generated content? Beautiful Soup itself can't handle JavaScript. However, you can use it in combination with something like Selenium, which can control a web browser and retrieve content after JavaScript has run. Great. I think I'm ready to start experimenting with Beautiful Soup. Thanks for all the info. Good luck. Just remember to respect the terms of service and robots.txt of websites you scrape.